Woo. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to talk to a girl, how to pick up a girl, how to get a girl's phone number, who is sitting next to you or sitting by you, sitting at the same table. So this is pretty common if you're doing work at like a coffee shop or something, or the library, or maybe you're just sitting next to somebody at the DMV, who knows? There's a lot of situations where we end up sitting next to a cute and pretty girl, and if you just sit there and don't say anything, and you're a guy who's single, you're a guy who's looking Looking for a woman, you're an idiot, <laughs> okay? You just wasted a huge opportunity to have a conversation with a nice pretty girl. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process, you guys, about how I always sit down and talk to a girl who's sitting next to me, whether it's like I said, at a coffee shop or a library or something like that, okay? I'm gonna give you two cases. The first case where you start talking to her right when you sit down, which is probably the better option. You guys should try and talk to her as quickly as possible. Or if you sat down, and you've completely messed it up and you've like you've been sitting there for a while and it's getting kind of awkward okay or maybe she sits down uh, after you okay so the first way first you see her you're at a coffee shop a library you're looking to get some work done or something like that uh, or you're waiting for your number to get called to the DMV who knows you see a cute girl and you want to sit down next to her now obviously if there's nobody else in the coffee shop or in the room <laughs> Don't sit right next to her. <laughs> um, if she, if there are some people around, what I would do is maybe like um, maybe sit closer to her. Obviously, the closer you sit to her, the easier it is it's going to be to talk to her. But you don't want to sit too close to make her uncomfortable right away. So sit like uh, I don't know, give her like one seat, okay? Or maybe if there's nobody else there, maybe give her a couple seats of space. So you're giving her some room, some space. You're not crowding her area, um, but at the same time too, it's close enough that you guys can talk to each other. Now, when you sit down, I try and like look at her, make eye contact, smile, or something like that. But if she's not giving me anything, then I'll just say with a very you know, not a. I wouldn't say commanding, but you know, a tone where she can hear you. And I'll basically say, hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd. Or, hey, how's it going? What are you working on? Um, or is this seat taken or something like that? I'll just say something, say anything, okay? Whatever you say, She's gonna either do like, a, oh no, that seat's it's totally fine, you can take that seat, or oh, I'm good, or maybe she'll actually give you a smile and she'll start talking to you. Obviously, if she starts talking to you, that's better than her giving one word answers, but it's okay if she gives you a one word answer. So typically what I'll do is if she looks up and she's just like, oh, I'm good, and then kind of like looks down, I'll be like, uh, I'll just move on to, to, to another topic. I'll be like, cool, well, what are you working on? And then maybe she'll say, oh, I'm just doing some work for this this thing or something like that. And then I'll kind of tell her what I'm doing too. Because if you just ask her a question, she's gonna get weirded out. She's gonna think this is an interview or why is this strange guy just walking up and asking me a bunch of questions. So tell her what you're doing. Usually I'll say like, yeah, I gotta get this project done right now. Or um, I'm working on something. Or yeah, I'm gonna be here for just a few minutes that I get some fresh air. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then what I would do after that is if she's playing ball, if she's talking to you, maybe ask one or two of the questions of the five questions I ask every girl when I'm out, which you can check. It's a video that I have. It's um, probably one of the fundamental videos that I would watch if you're learning how to start conversations with women that you don't know. Okay, so I'll usually just go into, hey, where are you from? Uh, are you from the area? What do you do? Maybe a couple of those questions. If she's giving very short one word answers, probably means she wants to work. Don't bother her. If she wants to work, not a big deal. Or if she wants to be on her phone and not talk, not a big deal, okay? So um, if that happens, basically I'll just kind of like do my work and then maybe I'll try again later, okay? Now, if she is talking to you, if she is like asking you questions about your, about your stuff, then continue the conversation as you normally would. Basically, watch some of the other videos that I have, ask about her interests, ask her a lot of how questions, how questions I find to be a lot better than why or what questions, meaning if she says that, oh, I'm a, I'm a marketing consultant or something like that, I could say, cool, how did you get into that? That's a very good follow-up question to ask. And if she's down to talk, talk to her, you know? Be happy, have that good, fun, positive vibe between the two of you. Maybe tease her a little bit once you've built up some rapport. Don't, you know, walking in and teasing her with a, with a strange guy sometimes can, can go the wrong way if you don't know what you're doing. 
Okay, so that's if you started talking to her right away, okay? And I would recommend that you talk to her as quickly as possible because the longer you wait, if you're sitting next to a girl, the longer you wait to initiate a conversation, <laughs> usually the more uncomfortable and awkward it's going to be. But let's say you fucked that up. Let's say you sat down and you haven't said anything or maybe uh, you didn't notice her or something like that and it turns out to be a really cute girl. Okay, how do you handle this type of situation? There are a few things that I like to do to start the conversation. The first thing that I'll do is, uh, this is a kind of a cheap option. You could basically say, hey, I gotta go, to, like you basically say, hey, what's, uh, you know, I'm Lloyd, what's your name? Okay, cool, nice to meet you, Amanda. Hey, Amanda, could you do me a favor? I'm actually gonna go to the bathroom or I'm gonna get a coffee really quick. Do you mind watching my stuff for just a second if you're gonna be here? Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Okay, then you go up and then you order your coffee or whatever, go to the bathroom, then you come back and when you come back and sit down, you thank her and then ask her how she's doing, how her work's going, and then you start the conversation from there. You know, move into the five questions after you've built up a little bit of rapport, maybe get some flirty banter going, some teasing or something like that. That helps. Okay, that's one way. The other way that you can do it, and I like to basically, if I'm working, typically people are not gonna be working continuously for hours, okay? They just, the human mind can't work like that. So I like to take breaks. So after like 15 minutes of work, then I'll kind of like look up and see if she kind of looks up at me. If she's observing me, if she's looking at me, that's usually a good thing. But if she's not, totally fine. I've worked with that tons of times before too. So if she's just kind of like looking at her phone, looking at her work, not really paying attention to anybody else but her, a lot of times the hotter girls will do this. They're used to not making eye contact with people because they don't want unwanted conversations. So if you are in uh, this position, basically I just kind of like, you know, kind of relax, maybe do a little stretch. And then rather than me talking to the, the girl who's like really working really hard, maybe I'll try and engage some of the other people around me. Okay, so if there's some other people working at the table and I'm a little nervous to talk to the girl that I wanna to talk to, I'll start talking to the people around me. And then once we've got a little bit of banter going and I'll see if she kinda of looks up and when she looks up, that's when I'll engage her in the conversation. So I'll maybe say hi to the guy sitting next to me and be like, hey man, how's it going? Oh nice, what are you working on? Okay, cool, nice. Are you like, do you work in marketing and stuff like that? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I used to be into that sort of stuff too. And then I'll kind of like see if, she, if the girl may be over there. Let's say she's sitting across from me. Um, and I'll, see if she, I'll see if she looks up and then I'll be like, oh, do you work in marketing too? Oh, you do? Oh, nice, yeah. So like I was selling, telling him, I used to work in marketing actually. And then so now you're, you have a conversation. You've started the conversation, ask her how her work's going, ask her you know, what she's up to, how she got into it, those kinds of questions. You built up some rapport and then like I said, get into you know, more flirty kind of playful banter, okay? That is how I start a conversation. Again, if you're nervous, try and talk to some other people first. Maybe ask to go to the say, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, do I am watching my stuff? Don't sit right next to her when you first get to her and try and talk to her as soon as possible, okay? If you, the longer you wait, the harder it's gonna be. And if she doesn't wanna talk, you guys, totally fine. Let her do your work, oh, sorry, let her do her work. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then try and engage later, okay? All right, and the final point is, how do you ask for this girl's phone number at the end? Let's say it's going really well, or you could say, I gotta go right now, but I'd love to continue this conversation. Uh, do you have a phone number, WhatsApp, or like an Instagram or something? And then I'll usually get that. I like to get the phone numbers as opposed to an Instagram, um, usually a little bit better. I don't wanna be smothered in a bunch of DMs from other guys, so uh, I like to get the phone number instead. So. That's basically my step-by-step -step process for talking to a girl who's sitting next to you. Again, guys, this works in a variety of different scenarios, um, but in this case, I chose one at like a coffee shop or a co-working space where you're working next to people. Oh, guys, by the way, I just had a few spots open up in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So if you're looking to get coached by me one-on-one, -on -one, basically fill out the form down below, and if you feel like you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks a lot, and good luck out there.